Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a human rights activist, national organizer, organizer and public speaker. She's also a cast member of the new BET docuseries, Cop Watch America, that follows citizen whistleblowers who fight to protect their communities. So let's take a look at it. Cop watching for me is after it goes viral, that's when I get the calls. Shut it down! The family member or the community, they're like, you know what, Yanajaha, huh? can you come here and help me organize my community? So I'm usually like the aftermath person. No justice! No peace! No right to stand! No peace! Right now, please welcome Queen Yanajaha Lone Wolf. Yay! Yes! <laughs> Did I get it right? Yeah, you got it. Got you got it right. Love. Girl. <laughs> now, what people don't know about you is actually you were born yes. into activism. Your mom was pregnant down to the marches. Yes. What so is do you think that it's just a natural progression or, or what is this where does this passion come from? I think it's because the, I was born during the longest walk which was a mm. protest from Alcatraz San Francisco to mm. Washington DC. So I was born in Washington DC, wow. Trina, the DMV. <laughs> yeah, come DMV. On. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was born literally with my fist up. I mean, mm -hmm. I was always around, um, you know, the Black Panthers, the Nation of Islam, mm. um, American Indian Movement, you know, Chicano Movement. So I was always around those type of greats around me. And that's me. part of your, your native, your nationality yes. is American Indian. Yeah, yeah, my mother was Native American from Pine Ridge, South Dakota. She mm -hmm. passed away in 2003 of full-blown lung cancer. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. But I'm, I'm her legacy and, yes. her, and my brother is as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's talk about your name and what it means. It means precious jewel in Navajo. Mm. Wow. Yes. It's a squash blossom necklace that the Diné people wear, and it, sh it um, shows attributes of who you are, So, which is like a precious jewel. Oh. So how, how did you become queen? You know what? Um, Capadonna from Wu-Tang Clan is my ex-husband. Okay. Mm. Um, and he, um, I, was, I used to rap. And he oh, was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so he was like, we need another queen in hip hop. So you're not your hot and nothing to mess with. <laughs> yeah. like, you're like a sister solo yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. right. <laughs> so, right. Uh, by the time you were a teenager, you were basically involved with the community. Tell us about some of your passions. You know, my passion is basically the people fighting for freedom, justice, and equality. You know, when I see these videos that are viral, I just can't sit back and just do nothing. I have, to, I can't just tweet, I have to do something. Mm -hmm. And um, God has blessed me with a certain platform of, of arena around great people to be able to amplify these voices. So what you saw in the clip, Latasha Walton, she was murdered um, by the oh. police in Miami in March. And so I was like, you know, we have to shut down this freeway. We have to do something. And mm -hmm. so, um, so I was in Ferguson. I was in um, Baltimore during Freddie Gray, um, mm -hmm. even here in Atlanta when we were shutting down the freeway a couple years back. So wow. um, that's my passion is really, I wanna make sure that my children doesn't have to fight the fights that I'm fighting oh, today. Yeah. Well, we thank God for people like you, mm -hmm. really, because um, it's it's people like you that have moved us forward. Yes. You know, even if it's baby steps or small steps, we need people like you with this type of passion. Thank you. Um, and speaking of which, today is a National Outrage Day. Yes. Okay, so basically all of us are going to um, present our passion by wearing black. Yes. Um, it's um, in the wake of Tatiana Jefferson. What what are you looking? What do you think when you're looking at the country and the state that it is in with this type of? I don't even know what to call it. You yeah. know, you could call it foolishness, but that's not even good enough. Yeah. Um, what do you think about this? First of all, this day, yeah. um, and what's happening in our in our country? You know, um, shout out to Tamika Mallory with Until Freedom and Linda Sassour. Mm -hmm. um, they reached out to me so we can mobilize this day of right. 28 cities. That's going to be basically be a national day of outrage. Yeah. Not just for Tatiana Jefferson, but for Latasha Walton. And the list goes on and on. on and you on. know, it's so sad that black women are being murdered at the rate My of God. that they're being murdered at just either through sex trafficking, human trafficking, yes. and even by the hands of police. Yes. These police are supposed to protect and serve us and they're shooting to kill. And so, you know, we should be outraged. The women are the foundation, the heart of this movement. Oh and God. we are the also, we, there is no nation could rise no higher than its woman. And so we need our women. And so we have to be outraged. And I'm more outraged at the fact that not enough people are outraged. Yes. You know, so yes. Um, until freedom, you know, follow them on social media to find out if the city is going to do anything. Um, in Atlanta, Georgia, everyone's mm -hmm. meeting at the Capitol mm. at five o'clock. Mm. And so be outraged. 
I mean, it's we need our woman. And I have to say this is that we all are going to get to a point in our life where we're going to have to make a decision on what we're willing to fight for. Yes. No yes. matter what it is. I think that decision is coming soon. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. So with, with that, let's talk about uh, Cop Watch America. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about the concept behind it and, and how you got involved with it. You know, I was asked because um, I was I spoke at uh, Ferguson with mm -hmm. Mike Brown anniversary mm -hmm. and um, and I've done so much. I've had four of my cousins murdered by police mm. in the last five years. I have eight friends that have been murdered by police and two of them are my friend's children. Mm. Oh, my and God. so this has hit me in another way. Mm -hmm. um, so not only am I one of the families, but I'm also on the front line. And um, this show is needed. You know, there's a um, Jill Scott Haran said the revolution will not be televised, mm -hmm. but for the first time it's being it televised. Yes. Yes. Right. You know, so I'm not going to front. I was kind of like, oh, I hope this is not a reality show. We don't right. need the drama no. of the activists. And the drama is really us going up against the bad apples in a police system. Oh. And um, and it's sad. It's it's showing myself um, and Gerald, Attorney Gerald Griggs, mm -hmm. Shar Bates, Patrick, City, um, here in Atlanta, Georgia, as mm -hmm. well as the activist crew in New York City, and, um, and what we're dealing with in our different ways of activism. Not, I always say there's different positions in revolution. Yes. So, you know, whether you are a community advocate or whether you're on a front line or mm -hmm. whether you're an attorney, you're fighting for justice. And mm -hmm. so that's what it's showing. Now, there's two of you. Well, there's another um, activist on the show who's a, a lot younger, who kind of represents the newer generation. What is the difference between the, the way the two of you um, um, get out and, and show and, and show uh, the, the passion for what you're doing. That passion, that fearlessness is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and the Bible talks about the Joshua generation, mm -hmm. you know, Joshua mm -hmm. that went up against the giants. Mm -hmm. We need that fearlessness. We saw that in Ferguson. We saw that in Baltimore. Um, but at the same token, we need the elders, that wisdom. Yes. I know for me, I, I'm fearless, but I also need the wisdom of those that are of around strategy. me, of my elders, mm -hmm. yes. you know, to be able to give a, a good strategy because they've been there. They've done yeah. that. They were attacked by dogs. Yeah. Yes, they, you yes. know, they've right, been yes. through all of that. And so that wisdom is important, but that fearlessness is also yes. important. Yes. We thank you so thank much you. for being here. And you guys Man. can be sure thank to catch you. Cop Watch America on Wednesdays at 11 p.m. on BET. And you can follow her at Queen Yonaja on Instagram.